Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and we move on to episode 23 today. You've seen in the last episode we played our first test match against Zimbabwe, which were it not for the elements we would have won. Uh, ended in a draw though due to bad weather. However, today we are on to Harare playing the second test match against Zimbabwe. And I think if we can repeat the performance that we did in the first test, we'll be well on our way to securing a victory. So let's go and do the, well, let's run the intro first of all, and let's go and do the coin toss. Lara's down the ground. That's going to be his first six. Oh, that's bold. This time, go and look for that one. Welcome back then guys, we are now on to the coin toss here on Cricket Captain 17. We're going to go with a heads call, I'm hoping, given how the elements are looking early doors, there's a bit of cloud in the first day, we can get out there with the ball first of all, and and again we've won the toss, what a brilliant, what a brilliant call this is with, with the coin, we're absolutely dominating the coin, and we're going to get them into bat again. Uh, they haven't, they made a little change there, Zawayo is in, but other than that, it's a pretty much unchanged squad, other than Moore, who looks another new addition to the team. I don't really know anything about the Zimbabwe team, to be honest, or, or most of the cricket teams, really, but we'll do what we can, as is always the case. I brought in Lewis for Kimar Roach, who was pretty poor on the form aspect, and it's Lewis who's going to bowl into Majuru, gets the edge, dropped, in the slips by Hope, Lewis into Zawayo, and Zawayo gets away with it. I thought that was going to be gone. I really did. I thought we'd have picked up that wicket early doors there. But we've, ma we've managed to put them on the back foot in that first over. We've had a couple of chances at wickets. That's obviously going to get into their head. I play the second over. And it's Lewis into Majuru, who edges it. And it's hold on to this time. And he's caught in the slips by the fielder. Good catch that from Hope and Majuru goes for seven, which now brings in Craig Irvin. And these two are, these two are ticking away all right now, so I'm just going to adjust this down a little bit because I don't want them to start thinking they can take the mickey with us. And I'm going to bring a holder down this end with the fast medium bowling field I've had set. Taylor now into Irvin, edges it, and he's gone. Another great catch there from Hope. And Irvin has gone off the bowling of Taylor. Taylor looking like he needs a break, though. So we're going to give him that after this over. Taylor needs to be rested. We're going to bring in Roston Chase with a bit of off spin. And they're doing all right with the with the bat here. Holder into Zawayo. Edges it. Caught by Hope. Again, another good delivery of that from Jason Holder. And he gets the wicket of Zawayo, who finally goes. He's had a couple of chances there. Zawayo, but we've managed to get that wicket. Now it's Chase into Burl. Nice full delivery here from Roston Chase, and it beats the edge, but it manages to creep its way in towards the keeper. Now we're just going to try a slightly longer line for Chase. Now it's Chase into Raza. Zimbabwe, 124 for three here. And that's high in the air, and that is caught by the fielder. Lewis with a catch off the bowling of Roston Chase. Raza goes for 44. That brings in Williams, who was very much their danger man in the first test. So we're going to change Holder. And we're going to bring on Devendra Bishu. That was close to being out. Bishu and Tabal. Devendra Bishu with the delivery, and that has got to be gone. 22 is gone. P. Moore now is next in. T. Interval on day one. Zimbabwe are 156. To the good here. Chase now into Williams. 156 for five. Chase with a good delivery. Chase into Williams. 161 for five now. And that's gone. Williams gone for 18. Kramer is now the next man in. Bishu into Kramer. Good delivery that from Bishu. Doesn't quite get the edge he was after though. Bashu into Kramer, Zimbabwe 170 for six here. Oh, that's close, but he gets away with it. Chase now into Moore, 195 for six. 
Roston Chase beats that outside edge again with a good delivery. Bishu into more. What, 218 for six is a good little knock this from Zimbabwe. Good little knock indeed, and we're just going to bring on. We're just going to bring on Shy Hope now. We're going to get the field settings back to what we want here. These two are putting on a decent little partnership here, these two for Zimbabwe. Uh, 261 runs they have an advantage of, and they're forming a good little partnership. Kramer and Moore. Need a wicket. They're up to 300. I think I might have got this one a little bit wrong. So lunch interval day two, Zimbabwe lead by 344. We're struggling to get the wickets of these guys. Uh, Devendra Bashu can come back in, see if he can pick up a wicket. Devendra Bashu into Kramer, 389 for six here, Zimbabwe. And that's a stumping. And Kramer has gone for 103. And that brings in Tripano. Good delivery, that. Now chase into Tirupano. Edged and dropped in the field again. Always dropped. Now Bishu into Tirupano. 409 for seven. Zimbabwe. It's a very good first inning score, this from Zimbabwe. Edged and caught. And it's hold on to this time by Hope. Mafuzwa is next. T interval, day two. They've got a very big lead here. Roston Chase now into Moore. Edged and caught in the slips. Moore goes very, very big, 157. And they've got the breakthrough they needed. Chase now into Mafuzwa. Are oh, they going to be able to wrap this innings up? Great delivery. Evades the bat. The new ball is available again. We've taken it. And we're going to give it to Lewis, who's hopefully going to get us a bloody wicket, because we need one. We need to get it out there with the bat while it's still sunny. Mafudzwa. Chase into Mafudzwa. Is this going to be it? Oh, great. Great delivery. Chase into Mafudzwa again. He's going to slip one through the guard. Is he? Great delivery. That's got to go. Mafudzwa goes for 25 and Zimbabwe are 458 all out in that first innings. Now, we've got a lot to do here, I think. Chitara into Hetmeyer. Plays and misses. Kramer into Hetmeyer. 26 without loss here. Kramer, oof, gone. Hetmeyer has gone again. Hetmeyer is not performing at the minute at all. Kramer into Hope. Surely this isn't another wicket. End of day two. Mufadwa into Brathwaite. And Brathwaite has gone. This isn't looking too good for us. Kramer into Hope. They're really putting the pressure on here with the fielders. We need a big innings here from Jelani Robinson again. Kramer and Hope. Kramer into hope. And all hope has gone. Gone for 14. Not good at all, this. Kramer into hope again. Kramer's been brilliant with the bat and the ball. And he's gone. Oh, shy hope has given the wicket away. We're slowly crumbling here, the West Indies. Absolutely crumbling. And Tiripano into Jelani Robinson. We're absolutely crumbling. Lunch interval, day three. Kramer into Jelani Robinson. Kramer into Robinson again here. Ah, oh, and he's bowled him. What a delivery from Kramer. Robinson has gone for 28, and that brings in Roston Chase. And we need some sort of magic here because it's not happening for us today. Kramer has been an absolute menace with the ball, and that has got to be his five for five for 37. Kramer has been obscenely good today. Obscene stuff. Mafudzwa into Roston Chase. Beats the edge. Kramer to Jason Holden out. Is Kramer going to pick up another wicket? Oh, and he does. An edge. Caught by Moore. Defender Bashu. Is next in, and we're absolutely struggling. 
112 for 7 here, the West Indies. And we, we need 143 runs to avoid the follow-on against Zimbabwe. This is just ridiculous. Ah, oh, edged and gone. Bashu is gone. Just brutal stuff, this. We need a big innings from Roster and Chase. Are oh, we going to get it? It doesn't look like it. It's Kramer again, who has absolutely wiped the floor with us here. And we're going to get back for the single, which is good. Zimbabwe have taken that new ball. Need 115 runs to avoid the follow on. Tirupano into Lewis. Ah, and it's gone. What a catch from Kramer again. Kramer, what is going on? Got to have a look at this guy. This guy is obscene. Graham Kramer, 31 years old. Never scored anything like it. Bowling's been pretty decent, but nothing amazing. But in this game, he's been phenomenal. 7 for 53 and scored a mighty score with about 103, I think it was. And Shatara has bowled Taylor, but it's a no ball. So we're still in the hunt. 105 runs needed to avoid the follow-on. It's not going to happen. We're down to our last men standing here. Kramer into Roston Chase. Chase is gallantly trying to hold on here. Mafudzwa into Taylor, who plays and misses. Gamely holding on here, Roston Chase. Taylor, Mafudzwa into Taylor. End of day three. Roston Chase has been absolutely superb here. Kramer, he's going to get the wicket of Taylor though, isn't he? No, he's not. Kramer into Taylor again. Graham Kramer. What an innings this has been for you, son. 65 runs needed here. It's a great last wicket stand from the West Indies. Mafudza into Chase, but he's gone. Finally goes. A gallant, gallant pair in there, Chase and Taylor. We just needed 58 more runs, and we've been asked to follow on here, which is not good at all. So hopefully we can get some more runs, and it's Tirupano. Into Hetmeyer and Hetmeyer again has let the side down with some poor, poor batting. And Hope has gone. No, he hasn't. Hope is still in there. There's still Hope. Brathwaite putting together a few scores here. It's going to be very hard, this, I think. Kramer into Hope. Surely not Graham Kramer again. Kramer into Hope. A good delivery from Graham Kramer. Into Brathwaite now. Brathwaite. Kramer into Brathwaite. 135 for one here. Good shot from Brathwaite. Nothing going on there. Partnership record of 143. We'll take that. Mafuds went out into Kyle Hope. And he gets down the track and there's nothing done. So Kramer into Hope. 151 for one. Is it about to be 151 for two? No, it's not. So still 99 runs behind here. But these two lads are doing really well. They're batting well. 190 for one. They're putting a really good partnership, these pair. But it's going to be... Kyle Hope, who's the first man to go, he's gone for 88. Zimbabwe have taken the new ball. We're on to the fifth day. Hopefully we can hold out for a draw here. We haven't deserved to win this one at all. Brathwaite gone. Jesus, wept. Tirupano into Hope. Tirupano into Hope. Oh. Shatara to Hope, and that's got him. Good Lord. 32 runs behind. We've got 53 minutes of the first session left. Mafudzwa into Jelani Robinson. We need to get in front here, lads. Come on. We've got eight runs left to get. Lunch interval, day five. We need to get some runs on the board. We've got a three-run lead, lads. Three runs. Kramer to Robinson. Mafudzwa into Robinson. Robinson doing really good again with the bat here. 
helping us through these dark times. He's faced a lot of deliveries. Kramer to Robinson. And he's gone. Kramer gets his man again. Brilliant delivery. 34 minutes left of this session. We're going into T. It's a T until day five. We've got a 50 run lead here. And hopefully that's going to be enough. We've got an hour and 45 minutes left to go. I'm hoping they can't get us all out in that time. Oh, but he's got Dorich. Fucking hell. My foot's work. These two spinners have been absolutely brilliant here today. Throughout the whole innings, Kramer into Chase. Every delivery that Kramer makes, I'm cacking my pants. And he's got Chase, and we're down to the bowlers now. And we haven't got much time left here. Kramer into Jason Holder, and Holder adds nothing whatsoever to the total. They're taking the new ball. We've got an hour and nine minutes left. We've got 78 runs on the board. And Bashir has retired her, and we're down to Jerome Taylor. And it's really conspiring against us. This we've got 45 minutes left to go. Taylor's got to hold on somehow. Shatara to Lewis. Lewis edges it. It's dropped in the slips. Great stuff. We get a run, and we're on to 88 runs to the good. We've got 22 minutes, 15 minutes left to go. Shatara into Taylor. Taylor falls, and they've got to get 90 runs in what is essentially 10 minutes. And that is it. That is the second match draw. Now, have a look at that screen there, guys. Zimbabwe, 458. Moore and Kramer were the absolute standouts. Second innings, they only were well, zero for one. Uh, West Indies, 201 all out in that first innings. Very poor. And 347 all out in the second innings. Kramer, by far and away, the man of the match. Seven for 69 in that first innings. Four for 109 in the second innings, as well as that beautiful total with the bat. I think we've got a bit lucky here. I, I was feeling quite confident heading into this second test match. Uh, I think we need to do a little bit of adjusting. I think they're a little bit better than I gave them credit for. I think we probably played a little bit better than I expected in that first test. So join us again. Remember to leave a like on the video down below if you are enjoying this series and you'd like to see more. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, that's it for me today. I'll see you again next time. See more Cricket Captain content, have a look over there. There should be some videos coming up, new episodes of Rebuilding West Indies. And also, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, make sure you pop down there and hit that subscribe button. We've got more stuff coming up on the channel in the next few months. And also, be sure to check out my Football Manager content. But for today, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next episode.